Hi everyone, welcome to World of Tanks with Stewie JP. I'm Stewie, you're not. This is my old mate Thaddeus in the Object 907. I mentioned he was in, in a video just a couple of days ago. And uh, I mentioned that in a couple of days we will have another video featuring the Object 907. This is a triple shot of Tier 10 Medium Action featuring the Object 907, which is a Clan Wars reward tank. Now in just a few days, I think it's the 23rd of November on the Asian slash Australian service, um, there will be uh, a new Clan Wars campaign. It's going to be at Tier 10, 7 versus 7. And of course, the top 1,400 players will be able to get a Clan Wars Tier 10 reward tank. And this is one of them, the Object 907, which traditionally, in these Clan Wars campaigns, traditionally the Object 907 has been the choice of, uh, of a lot of players uh, when choosing a tank. Now, there's going to be... Uh, there's going to be about six tanks, I think, to choose from. The, the Object 907, the... 121B, which is a Chinese medium tank. The the VK, the heavily armoured, uh, the one that's a little bit like the Panzer Kampfwagen 7, the, the, the VK 7201K. Uh, there's also an American tank, the I think it's a T96, and maybe one more. It's all the it's all the previous tier 10 Clan Wars reward tanks will all be up for grabs in the Clan Wars campaign, uh, starting very very soon. I uh, November the 23rd, it starts, have we have, as we have a look at Thaddeus having a chip at, def at the defender, of course, a def poor old defender at tier 8, isn't going to stand much of a chance against an Object 907. Now, the, one reason the Object 907 is so um, popular, I mean, the gun is not, uh, not it's not too bad, it's your normal 100mm 100, 100 gun, 320 damage, 264 penetration, 330 with heat rounds, which is pretty good. But uh, it has got a very low profile, similar to probably profile is probably as low as maybe the STB one, so which gives it a pretty good camouflage rating. I guess I don't have one. I, I very rarely, uh, very rarely have a chance to to participate in, cam in campaigns due to um, being a shift worker. So often I'm working late with it. So, but anyway, Thaddeus now. Chipping away at the low, gets his first kill, 1,706 damage. He does get stunned by artillery. Some people think artillery's not so stunning. There's the turret of the Emil 2 at tier 9. That's probably going to be a little bit challenging to penetrate. Operation Gambit is the uh, this Clan Wars campaign coming up, which is something new that Wargaming are doing. It's 7 versus 7 at tier 10, so it's going to be a limited amount of maps. And... Uh, as Thaddeus gets another kill, gets rid of the Emil 2. 3 2 the score on Swamp. Now, this is looking like going by the ping that Thaddeus is getting in 50 and 60. This is the new Australian server. And of course, Thaddeus is a bloke I've been playing with uh, for years now. He, um, I'm sure he won't mind me saying this. He's, he's one, one player who sometimes, uh, like a, a lot of people in Australia, sometimes he. Connection to Singapore sometimes can make the game challenging. I know he does chip away. He's a very, very patient man, and he, he keeps uh, chipping away uh, playing his tanks. But uh, I'm, sh I'm sure that uh, Thaddeus, as well as maybe you at home, might um, be pretty happy about the Australian server. Uh, simply because of the connection time. He's, he's, uh, usually when Thaddeus sends me uh, his replays, his ping's a lot higher than that 50, 60, 70 you might be able to see in the top left-hand side of the screen. So... Um, Australian server from from all reports I've been playing on it not every night of course I, I do have to work sometimes but not every night the Australian server has been um, pretty good to me my the last uh, week or two I've, I've had some really good uh, good games that's for sure as I grind towards my tier 10 lights and I've, I, one thing I have found I'm in uh, sunny Melbourne I do have a pretty good connection and, and to be fair that my connection to Singapore has hasn't since I've got this new uh, internet connection, the, the my connection to Singapore hasn't been too bad. But um, I've found having a ping of 30 compared to 200. Well, oh my Ash from Banff clan, not too, uh, not too, not too happy with how these teams going. Four eights to score. This is certainly the Australian server. But look, I've 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 found my lights have been a lot more responsive. I guess that's probably what I'm trying to say. And I do enjoy my light tank. But anyway, back to Thaddeus. He's on two kills, two and a half thousand damage. He's got to. He's going to have to wear his carry pants. The um, the the enemy team. What's this left? There's there's four enemy tanks, uh, in the central north part of the map. Uh, the other guy from Banff Clan who's platooning is is um, 
yeah, putting some stuff in chat. Look, I hope he doesn't get banned because I put this this replay up. But Thaddeus having a pretty good game. Two and a half thousand damage. Two kills. Looking at more opportunities. I, he's probably thinking that this WZ triple one dash four might be might be going for the cap. Super Conqueror. Sorry, Super Conqueror. I think you're gonna be on your own there, mate. The uh, he's gonna try and continue to chip away at these uh, tank destroyers. He's still got 1338 hit points up his sleeve, my old mate Thaddeus from 1AR clan. Um, 1338 up his sleeve. 2,500 damage done as he starts rolling towards that T-54 mod. That'd be a pretty juicy target for a tier 10 medium tank. Um, looks like the enemy team are not going for the cap. They're going to go and try and kill all. Let's see if Thaddeus can make him pay for that decision. The Udez goes down. Tank of Kittens. That's a pretty cool cool in-game name and going by the players on when I first saw this uh, the replay just the result I thought this might be an Australian servo uh, type replay because a lot of um, a lot of Australian clans and players in this replay and of course it is it's a, this is coming from just going by Thaddeus's bing of you know 50 no idea where that shot on the object 416 went he bounces the return shot Clips him for 82, picks up the his third kill of the game, but he's really going to have to do something special if he's going to pull this one out of the bag. 8 to 13 is the score, 2,814 damage done. The Super Conqueror is probably the last tank he wanted to see there, but he's only on 377 hit points, so Thaddeus will be pretty happy about that. That shot doesn't quite go through, he's got hit rounds, 320 damage for hit rounds. Um, and that Super Conqueror is on 377. He'll be hoping the WZ picks up the kill, which he does. 9.13 to score now. Still two versus six. He's going to have to do something. He's lost his commander and he can't use his first aid kit for another 80 seconds. And coming around here, he's probably thinking, right, if we can make the T-54 mod 1 pay for this mistake. Gets a little bit of ram damage in. He's down to 94 hit points. You'd think that he'll beat him on the reload. He will. Uses the dead tank as a bit of cover. Unfortunately, the WZ triple 1, 1-4 one goes down. Puts a shot into the Panther 2. Now, I hope the Panther 2 doesn't get upset that he's using gold rounds because he's out of his standard ammunition because he's been carrying the shit out of this one. He's down to 650 hit points. That was a that was an AP round from the Panther. And Thaddeus doing a great job chipping away at the Panther. He'll be hoping that artillery doesn't shoot him. It's only a Frenchie. The Frenchie doesn't do a great amount of alpha damage. Frenchie shoots and misses. Uh, he's got a damage engine now. Uh, what's he going to do now? Kills the Panther for his fifth kill. And that WZ will just be saying, I'll just ram you, man. Unfortunate for me, old mate Thaddeus. He did everything he could there to try and carry the shit out of that one. Now that's... um. It's a defeat. 11-15. Only by four tanks. You've got to think they were they were down by they were down by more than just four tanks not too long ago. Um, but look, it didn't do too bad. A first class mastery badge, bruiser medal, duelist fighter, five for effect. I reckon if it was a win, that would have been an ace. High caliber for carrying the hell out of it. 5,124 damage done. Five kills, 674 base experience. Look, this WZ on the other team certainly had a good game. That's the tier 9. Uh, but Thaddeus, not too bad at all. 30 shots fired, 29 hit. Who said Russian guns aren't accurate? Only 18 went through, but he still did his job. 5,124 damage. Block 2,100. Got some assisted damage as well. Um, unfortunately, not... Uh, no one else really stood up. Cost him some coin there because he was down to premium ammo on the Aussie server. But... Uh, Five that nobody only one other player hit two thousand and Thaddeus doing five that's an absolute pearl. Two players on the enemy team hit four thousand and a couple others did well as well. But um, unfortunately, not the result he was hoping for. Let's see how he goes in this game. Now, of course, if you have a look at the player list in this game, this is this is the kind of stuff we do at one AR sometimes. Now, on the night that the Australian server opened, which was the first of November. Um, 1AR put some um, put a few ads on social media and the the official forums saying all right when when it all kicks off we've created a channel just for the Australian server let's do some mass countings and have a look at the the people uh, I reckon just about everybody in this game was in on it I, I missed the start and when I when I joined in I was working till I think 8:30 so I think I joined in a little bit after nine o'clock and uh, when I joined in Thaddeus poked me with this replay so. Some um, pretty lot of players from some Aussie clans in both 
both sides of this this replay, and this is what's happened on the Australian server. They said, right here, let's do mass countings at tier 10. So Thaddeus platooned up with his old mate Fury from 1AR as well, as well as Blaze. They're all in their Russian medium tanks. And you can see on Thaddeus' team, a few other people. We've got some pyro players, uh, cut one or two from NZAD. Uh, a few other people who, oh, I reckon... I know the names, I know we're certainly in team speak on the night, but look at the enemy team. Uh, my old mate TB there platooned up with Jezolinko, you beauty, one of the nicest blokes who's ever to play the game. And Brandon from 2AR clan, you can see Slider Sneak from 1AR on there. The couple of blokes from TFF, PB Cack, Mustang Sally, Pyro, Tim Bob, Hitman, Blackjacks, Ravi the Aussie Seagull, Shadow, it's, it's just... It's an extravaganza of celebrities in this game. When I saw the result that he sent to me, I had, of course, I had the players list. And I thought, oh, that's clearly from the countings. And it was just, it was a, a really good night. I probably had a couple of beers more than I should have on the 1st of November. But mass countings at 1AR uh, for, for the celebrating the Aussie server. And uh, it was certainly a good night. Lots of, um, lots of shenanigans and piss taking going on. Uh, I had the pleasure of platooning with Hilly from Pyro for a little while, and I think I, I think I disgusted him with some of my bad, bad plays, but plenty of laughs nonetheless. As my old mate Thaddeus from 1AA. And the object 907, as I mentioned earlier, the next Clan Wars campaign starts on the 23rd of November. This is one of the Clan Wars reward tanks, the object 907. T10 Russian medium tank. going to do now looking at the minimap there's a hell of a lot of players down here in the south of course there's, a, there's only five heavy tanks but it looks like there's about eight enemy tanks down there they're being held off nicely by the by the mouse the type 5 the wz the leopard all tier 10s in this game and people were concerned when the aussie server opened that you wouldn't be able to get full games of tier 10s and that matchmaking might be a problem but uh credit where credit's due as that is just misses the, the chance to kill the T62A. It looks like he's going for it. No, he's just had a look towards the Object 907 on the enemy. No, auto aims at the T62A. Shouldn't have done that. Unlucky, but don't worry. He'll fire this up pretty soon. 907 on the enemy team. Tree Hugger. That's a pretty cool name. Tree Hugger. Nothing against uh, Tree Huggers, but two tanks go down pretty quickly on the other side of the map. The WZ 115A and the Jag Panzer. And of course, this. Um, TeamSpeak was absolutely going off this night. People, mass countings, people, um, seeing people that, or talking to people that they might have seen through the game or the forums or, or clan wars or, or looking at other clans and such and finally getting a, a, a chance to, to talk a bit of shit, have a laugh and, and take the piss out of each other, which is what Aussies and Kiwis absolutely love to do. Three ones a score. Waiting for waiting for Thaddeus to, to do something funny here. I reckon he will pretty soon. There's Jezolinko. Now Jezolinko <coughs> He loves that bloody thing, the VK seventy two O one K. That's another Clan Wars reward tank. And it is up for grabs in the um, Operation Gambit, the new Clan Wars campaign. It's shot from behind by that bloody tree hugger again. Six two the score. He's only picked up three hundred damage, he's blocked a bit and he's spotted a bit. I reckon he'll be stretching his legs very, very soon. Here on Paris. Picks up the kill on Tim Bob. Of course, Tim Bob's one of the 1AR players as well. Very active player. Hell of a nice guy. But uh, always good to, to kill somebody that you know. There's that T100 light tank. I cannot wait to get that thing. I'll tell you right now. That uh, T100 light tank. I'm not too far off that Russian light. Bounces the shot into the enemy object 907. And that's one of the... It's one of the it's one of the selling points, I guess, of the Object 907. For a medium tank, it is pretty well armoured. It won't bounce shots from that angle, though. Gets cops 240 damage from the trigger hugger in the Object 907. And it's just a it's a bit of a, a bit of a bit of a jewel here as I move my mouse around to try and keep up with Thaddeus. He's got the side of the 907, but the 907's got him as well. The enemy T100 light tank is coming in to join in on the fun and in the end. Thaddeus picks up the kill on the 907. Auto aims on the T100 light tank. He's hoping for the kill shot. Sends him back to the garage. 13 twos the score. Thaddeus on three kills. 2297 damage. Some blocked and some assisted damage as well as I look towards the last um, 
the last tank. He picks it up. It's the old mate TB in the grill. Four kills for Thaddeus from 1AR clan. 2,400 damage that we saw. Let's have a look at the result and see how he goes. Never mind about that page. There we go. Thaddeus from 1AR. First class. Duelist fight up. Five for effect. Some very good gameplay by everyone on that team. And a lot of... A lot of funs and laughs and shenanigans as well which is what 1AR are quite well known for and of course Thaddeus um, what do you get 2,395 four kills second second top Rianne from Pyro doing over 4,000 having an absolute ripper funk man that's probably one of the coolest in game names in the world plenty of uh, familiar names on both sides of that battle on Paris unlucky not to get an ace I reckon Thaddeus will be getting an ace pretty soon 7,500 damage done Sorry, 7,500 credits lost in that five-minute game. But plenty of shenanigans and fun from 1AR in the, the countings on the first night of the Aussie server as we move on to the third and final replay featuring the Object 907. This one's me, old mate, the Flying Elite from Pyro Clan. <coughs> Pardon me. Uh, and he clearly won this one from um, a previous... Clan Wars campaign, and after this, I'll um, have the website up for have the website up for um, the announcement for the campaign. Seven versus seven at T10. Six or seven reward tanks up for grabs, and it's it's being done a little bit differently. And I think I like that. I think uh, I think uh, the Asia and the Australian server they need to do things a little bit differently because Clan Wars has been in decline a little bit. Over the last couple of years, the map has been getting a little bit smaller every season, and and wargaming have they haven't made it a secret. They've just said, well, if the less clans play and the less battles happen on clan wars, the smaller the map's going to be, and and that it's understandable, I guess. If nobody's playing it, there's no use having uh, heaps and heaps of of um, provinces if no one's really contesting them. And I think they're going to, I don't know what they're going to do. I think they've certainly got to change it up a bit. I'm not sure what the answer is. Because a lot of a lot of players and clans have, have simply thrown their arms up and said, oh, I'm, not, I'm not doing this anymore. It's an excuse not to play. We're not after excuses not to play. We want people to play clan wars and platoons and skirmishes and all that kind of stuff to make the game uh, exciting. It's... Of course, some, a lot of clans, they, they do it for the gold and... Uh, I think a lot of clans do it just for the competition. I think that's what it should be about. It should be about bragging rights and competition. Yeah, there should be there should be rewards for it, uh, such as tanks and, and all that kind of stuff. But myself, I like it for the bragging rights to say that I've beaten uh, I've beaten your clan if you like. Anyway, the flying elite from Pyro is in the night. Object 907. They'll certainly be participating in Operation Gambit, the new Clan Wars campaign, seven versus seven at tier ten. He's in the 907, so he won't be getting one of these. He's already got one. 10 Russian medium tank with a 100 millimeter gun, 320 damage, 264 pen, 330 penetration with premium rounds, which is he. Flying Elite, you can see he's got extra combat Russians for an extra 10% to all crew skills and perks. Uh, that's for reload time, aid time, camouflage, speed, you name it. He's on Sand River. He's doing, uh, clearly got one eye on the minimap. Uh, this Sire 7, uh, I'd be a little bit concerned with an IS-7 and an IS-3 pushing on me. Of course, the IS-3 is only a tier 8, but um, we'll be hoping artillery is going to support him. Of course, artillery generally do quite well, uh, chipping away at heavy tanks, and that's the IS-7. The, IS the Object 907 can bounce shots. Yeah, he bounced a shot there from the enemy IS-7, and he's really punished that IS-3 for joining in. Now it's just, uh, just one tank that he has to contend with. He's picked up his first kill. Nearly 1,200 damage done. And... In the video description, there will be a link to to the next page I'll show you after this after this game with the um, five, including the five reward tanks that uh, are up for grabs for Operation Gambit on the Asian server. And I think it's I think it's not just the Asian server. I think they're all. They're doing it. And I think uh, Clan Wars might be hosted from Sydney for the first few rounds as well, which will be which will be good for the Aussie and Kiwi players as well as the Aussie Aussie server. Anyway, Flying Elite just chipping away at this IS-7. That IS-7 clearly... He's clearly got himself into... It's one of the... It's easy to do an heavy tank. I've done it myself. I'm sure we all have. Getting a little bit too far forward. Just getting... Um, 
outplayed by somebody like the Flying Elite. The Flying Elite's picked up nearly 3,000 hit points into over 3,000 damage now into the IS-7 and the um, and that IS-3. He's bounced nearly 1,000 hit points, 3,308 damage done, and he only copped one damaging shot in that, and he took down two enemy heavy tanks. That's no mean feat at all. He clearly knows what he's doing. Puts a shot into the Bulldog, takes him down to a one shot, down to 287 hit points. Now, that's right. That, out of that damage, it wasn't all into the heavies. There was one or two cheeky shots out there towards where that Bulldog was last seen, but... Um, Credit where credit's due, he's having an absolute ripper. On this ridge line in the Object 907, a Clan Wars reward tank. Now, if you want one of these tanks, get your clan to um, get on board Operation Gambit, which is the 7 versus 7 campaign coming up on the 23rd of November. 5 4's the score now. Even though Flying Elite's having a ripper, they're only up by one tank. He's, he's going to have to, um, I hope he doesn't run out of ammunition in this game, he's going to have to do something. The. T1 holding his fire against that T, T against that 110, the, the, the Chinese tier 8 heavy, he gets spotted, so he moves down. So these guys up here can't snipe him out. <clears throat> From over that western flank, moving down along, you can good map awareness, you can see that this leopard PTA is is copping it big time. Auto Ames just misses out on the kill shot. And of course all those other tanks that sort of swarmed the central part of Sand River did um, did a great job focus firing down. That uh, tier 9 minion attack. Auto Wayne's on the Emil, doesn't penetrate it. His tracks eat the shot from the tier 9 Swedish auto loading heavy tank. Puts a shot into him, takes him down to 928 hit points. 7 5's the score. You'd think that Flying Elite's team will certainly be ahead on hit points. He's, he's done nearly 4,000 damage himself. Fires clutch towards that. Uh, Bulldog, hoping for a lucky kill shot. He's on two kills. Now they're only up by one tank. The 121 puts 441 damage into the Flying Elite's Object 907. And he wants to... He's, he's worked out his team aren't going to be spotting this western flank, so he needs to do it, hoping for some assisted damage. I'm sure he's hoping to put some pain into these enemy tanks as well. Unlucky not to penetrate that shot into the 121. Now that 121 has got a pretty... Good gun. Over 400 alpha damage from memory. It's got a bit of a reload on the thing, but uh, its armor, as you can see, isn't too bad at all. Now, because he's on 1,250 hit points, Flying Elise decided to switch to some heat rounds just so he can maximize his chances of penetrating the turret. Oh, the Chinese medium tank, the 121. His name's Vader too, that bloke, so you want to be careful. He doesn't use the force on the Flying Elite. 4,333 damage done. 980 blocked, 825 assisted. You'll be hoping somebody helps him shoot this 1-2-1, one, one, because all of a sudden, his team are down 7-8. to eight. He's got two kills, 4,333. It'll take him... Um, take him two shots, probably three shots, to kill this 1-2-1, one, one, unless somebody else helps him. And now he's sort of realised, hang on, this Emil's back with the autoloader. There's a T-10 over there. And um, who knows, these, these tank destroyers on the enemy team. He's probably too far away from the enemy tank destroyers to be bothered by them. They're down here at K9. At least that's the last place they were spotted. Puts two shots into the 121, takes him down to 323 hit points. He'll be hoping to beat him on the reload. The 121 clearly knows which tank's got the quicker reload time. And so he gets the hell out of there and hopes that Emil 2 can either take some damage or put some damage into the Flying Elite to try and stop him carrying this game. He's up to 4,892 damage. 1,000 assisted, 1,420 blocked. Hasn't got the gun depression to get to that Emil without exposing himself. And we don't like exposing ourselves. Not too often anyway. Bounces a couple of shots from the Hawk 12 and the M41 Walker Bulldog at Tier 8, tier eight Light Tanks. That T49 gets pinged by the Flying Elite on the map because he has not moved for some time as he takes the T that takes the 110 down to a one shot. I don't know why I keep calling him a T110. Maybe it's, I'm thinking of the T100 light tank, I think, because that's a tank I've been grinding towards for the last couple of weeks. 7 8 is the score on Sand River. The coffee cup's empty, so this will be the last replay in this uh, triple shot featuring the Object 907 Clan Wars reward tank. Flying Elite picks up his third kill, brings his damage up to 5,500. Damage that the T49 finally joins in the party. He's going to feel the pain of that Emil though. And looks like the Emil clearly looking at the T29. T29 derps the Emil, and the Emil, I think he's worked out that he has been outplayed here as a flying elite. Takes him as his fourth scalp, and now looks towards that uh, 
221. Can he kill him? Yes, he can. Bob the Builder, Flying Elite. Five kills, 6,155 hit points of damage. Nearly 2,000 damage blocked. He switched back to APCR rounds, which is standard, because his next couple of targets are Tier 8s. The Hawk 12, if he's still here, if he's dumb enough not to have relocated. The T10, which he shouldn't have too much problems penetrating that Tier 8 heavy tank. And, of course, the Stritzwagen S1, the premium tank destroyer from Sweden. Here comes the Hawk 12. T29 clearly going for the derp. Flying Elite chips him down to 314. This will be for the top gun if he can get the kill. One more shot could be enough. He hits it into the sand, but never mind. He'll be reloaded pretty quickly. The WZ111-4 T9 kills the tier 8 German light tank. The Hawk 12, a new tank to the game. Or new whenever it was that they redid those lights. But his team's still trying to lose it, though. The T34 goes down. They're still up by two tanks. Make that three. 12-9 as that T-30 gets taken out by the Fock. You can see the Batchat 25T as well as the Fock have gotten nice and close, nice and tight to the enemy base. Not much lit though. Uh, there's the T-10. Stritchwagon kills that T-49 who was derping his way to a little bit of glory. Flying Elite hoping for a seagull kill here into the object. 704. Auto aims. Misses the shot. One more shot. This will be his top gun. No, he misses it by quarter of a second maybe and flying elite saying stuff this for a game of skills i want a top gun here 13 tens of score we get a top gun i'll send it into stewie and he'll make me famous he's going for the 110 and look i reckon you can afford to cop a shot from both of these tanks so he's just gonna go straight in aims shoots and kills there's the top gun confirmed all that's left is the street wagon s1 flying elite using his mobility advantage heading straight for him he knows he can cop a shot it doesn't matter. Shoots him. Seven kills. Almost got the... Did he ram kill him? I don't think he did. But uh, in the end, 15-11. A good comeback from the Flying Elite. And his team on Sand River in the Object 907. Now that was an Ace Tanker Mastery Badge from the Flying Elite. Bruiser Metal, Duelist, Fire for Effect, Shell Proof, Steel Wall, High Caliber, Top Gun, Yule Beauty. Had plenty to do with the demise of all those enemy tanks. 7 kills, 7,031 hit points of damage, 1346 base experience, 7,031. 2,150 damage blocked, 1,000 assisted damage. Lost 4,000 credits, but who cares? It's an Ace, it's a Carry, and it's a Top Gun on Sand River. There was some premium rounds fired. That's why I lost a few credits. Plus, of course, the cost of the premium consumable, which is the extra combat rations. Um, but it's a flying elite. I'll be buying them when they're on sale again. But I think it's been a while. So without further ado, uh, have a look at the global map, Operation Gambit. And uh, there'll be a link for this down below. Um, it starts on November 23rd through to December the 18th. Now, as far as I know, the first four rounds will be hosted on the Sydney server and the second four rounds will be hosted on the Asian server. Of course, the, the reason I'm saying rounds and not times is it depends where you're watching from. If you, you know, Australia, New Zealand and Southeast Asia has a hell of a lot of different time zones. New approach to mechanic, mechanics, fame points, clan points as well. So depending on how well you go and your clan, there'll be rewards for the clans and the players. There'll be gold up for grabs, uh, bonds. Um, it's all worked out by fame points and all that kind of stuff. And to cut a long story short, the, the rewards will be bonds, unique badges, digital camouflages, and how many camouflages you get will depend on how you go. A heap of different medals, camos, and there'll be five tanks up for grabs. The M60, which is the American. Let's see if I can make that bigger. There it is. That's the M60. Looks pretty cool. I guess oh, I think it's a medium. I'm pretty sure the M60 is a medium. The VK7201K, that's the rear turreted German. The Object 907 that you've just seen. The T95 E6, which is uh, another American. Uh, I think that's a heavy tank. And the 121B. So there you go. Uh, an ace tanker from the Flying Elite and a couple of funny games from Thaddeus, including the 1AR count-ins. And some information on uh, Operation Gambit. Now, Operation Gambit will start on... November the 23rd through to December the 18th. So I hope uh, some, we'll see some lots of Aussie and Kiwi clans getting on board that uh, global map. Uh, Clan Wars campaign, 7 vs 7 at tier 10. Once again, thanks for the replays, lads. Thanks for watching, everyone. Take care and see you all next time.